getting ready for sunrise. Starting to see the sun peek above the horizon. morning and welcome to day 189 on the AT. My name is Mosey and this is Rissa Romes. I'm rolling out of the lookout. There's a little view of the lookout. Beautiful little spot. Didn't get to show you around. Uh, I had a roommate last night. His name is Squirrel. Um, he's uh, just out for, he hopes a month, he says, until it gets too cold. Um, yeah, so had a good night there. Woke up for sunrise. Um, very proud of myself yesterday. Uh, I did 16.2 trail miles, but if you factor in all the shelter spurs I had to do to get water and get here, um, I did 16.7, which is my biggest day um, since leaving Pennsylvania. So that's pretty cool. I will say um, my heels are feeling it. <laughs> I amped things up pretty quickly when I got out of the whites, and I'm not totally sure my body was ready for it, but here we are. Um, today, I am making it to Rutland. Um, I'm either going to do 14 and a half miles to a parking lot at Route 100, and um, Pizza Bastard, who I met a few times before, um, will come pick me up and take me to the Yellow Deli, he's gonna help slack pack me some while I'm in the area. Um, if I'm feeling strong, I'm gonna push to Route 4 just to go ahead and get those miles done. Um, but that would be 17 and a half miles, which uh, is really pushing it. Um, so we'll see if I'm, if I'm up to that. <clears throat> All right, so time to give a little Tramley update on all of the tramways. Um, the original tramway in Georgia, um, of course, uh, George, Kevin, and Alex um, are not on trail, um, but Split, aka Fancy Pants, did finish about two weeks ago. Congratulations to her. Um, second tramway, Burl and Chicken Little are still in recovery. They yeah, are still in a good deal of pain. They really, um, you know, did their bodies in on the trail. Um, but Mojo did just summit a couple days ago. So congratulations to her as well. Um, Tom just had his knee replacement and he's doing better. Uh, he'll be back on trail in no time, I'm sure. Uh, milk money is somewhere in Connecticut at the moment. In fact, Tom is probably gonna be picking him up soon and hosting him for uh, a day or two sometime soon. Um, and then my most recent boys. I got a text from Too Easy yesterday. Half Baked and Whiskey the Kid are both going home today and too easy, doesn't know what he's doing. He's not sure if he's gonna keep hiking the trail or if he's gonna go on some other adventure. At the time that I'm editing this, Too Easy is planning on hiking still. So we'll see how far he makes it. He's not totally committed, but he's not ready to go home yet either. 
So, all my tramleys are off trail, except for Milk Money. He's the only one who hasn't either finished or had to get off. Um, but yeah, the last time I talked to Half Baked, he said to me, you're gonna be the one that finishes. I said, well, yeah, I was always gonna be the one that finishes, even with a broken ankle. He's like, well, I mean, you're gonna be the only one that finishes. Uh, he's like, I didn't think that was gonna be the case. And I told him, I'm not gonna lie. Just kind of started to put that together a little while ago. Um, he told me I was always the better hiker. <laughs> I said, really? Even though you guys are constantly making fun of me for how slow I am and for how much I fall. <laughs> and he said, you always have the determination. He said, you're the tortoise. So, yeah, it's a little sad. Doing a lot of slip in today. There are rock slabs under those leaves. You can't see them, but they're there. And then sometimes you'll just step in leaves and go down because you can't tell that there's a hole there. <laughs> Just now coming up on Stony Brook, which is where uh, Steady Eddie lost his life last year in a stream crossing. Um, in the aftermath of Helene, we all know um, what uh, high water can do. Um, and yeah, I remember hearing about this last year and it's so, strange um being here now but steady eddie rest in peace ah there it is the ladder i always have <laughs> heard people talk about and show in their videos that most people deem pretty unnecessary because you could just climb up like right over there but here we go confession i attempted to climb up on the side rather than use the ladder um and it was more difficult than i anticipated and i was kind of slipping on the uh pine straw <laughs> where it was angled and i was like you know what just be smart and use the ladder and the ladder was easier so i've been trying to decide what my final plan is for the day today um i've been moving a little slower than i was yesterday and I could probably make it to Route 4 just before sunset. But uh, that would be a long day. And to be honest, I don't know that that's the right decision. Uh, I've really been pushing myself. And um, I might need to pull back a little bit. My 17.6 mile day is very ambitious. Especially because I was thinking about doing a slack over... Mount Killington, which would be about that many miles and doing those back to back. Sounds like a lot. So I think we're going to call it at Route 100 today. That's 14 and a half miles. Still a very good day. And then I think maybe tomorrow I'll just slack the last like three-ish miles from Route 100 to Route 4 um, and then give my body a little time to catch up since I've kind of been putting it through the ringer now that we're back on normal terrain um and then I think slack Chillington the next day we'll see I'll have to talk to pizza bastard and see what works for him but I know he's busy tomorrow evening um so that may work out best so well I haven't had a view all day come out of the woods to that wow and that would be Killington, which I will be seeing shortly. It just started spitting rain, and I'm in denial about it. 
not wanting to accept it. Um, we're not putting the pack cover on yet. We're just not. Not until it's real. So I'm in complete and total denial that it's raining. I have my pack cover on, but I'm not putting on my rain jacket. It is not raining right there. It is raining right here. Only right here. Only right where the trail is going. Ugh. All right, I think the rain is gone now. Now I can enjoy this lovely boardwalk and a snack. made it to Route 100 and uh, Pizza Bastard was there waiting for me. I'm so grateful to him. He gave me a ride into Rutland where I got a room here at the Yellow Deli. Um, he is not able to slack pack me um, tomorrow after any time after noon because it is his birthday and he will be celebrating. Um, but then he offered um, after tomorrow to host me, um, at his home with him and his wife and to slack pack me through all of Vermont, which is an incredible offer. And I am so thankful, um, that he would be willing to do this and to help me out in this way. Um, it's starting to get cold guys and I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to not having to camp on any peaks. Uh, and to have warm food at the end of the day. Uh, there will be a couple nights because of my mileage that I'll have to have to camp out. Um, but for the most part, I will be slacking in Vermont, um, which is so lovely. Um, and for those of you who don't know the story of Pizza Bastard, um, I live very close to the Pinhody Trail. Um, Pizza Bastard was doing Bam and a Baxter this year, and I met him on the Pinhody uh, about three nights before I left for the AT. Uh, when we met, he actually recognized me from the channel, and he said, maybe I'll see you in the Smokies. And sure enough, we met again in the Smokies, and we ended up in a shared room at Laughing Heart Hostel uh, in Hot Springs. And uh, we had a good conversation that night. He said he felt like the trail was bringing us together for a reason. Um, he's been off trail for a few months now and, you know, post-trail depression is real. And so um, he is excited to have me and um, host me and help me. Um, but also I think it will be good for him uh, in this time to to kind of have this outlet. Um, and so, yeah, uh, great seeing him again. Uh, and then made it to Rutland and there's another Indian restaurant here. Went and ate there. It's actually better than the one in Hanover. Um, yeah. So that was the night. 